All right, cuties. So uh, World War Three is upon us. This day has come. We 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 are not ready. I'm just gonna be fucking frank with you guys. It is time to call the human race. The population must drop by a half or more. Only one third of the population will stay standing and live and flourish. He thought COVID-19 was going to call the population in half, but no, this is it. This is the beginning of the end times. We're all gonna die. <laughs> A fucking voice. No, but like seriously though, like World War Three, is it up in the air? Yeah, kind of ish. I mean, you guys remember when uh, the 2016 election was going down and something happened with or the bombings in Iraq? You guys remember that? And that was like, oh, everyone's that's the beginning of World War Three, guys. World War Three. Hey guys, wow. It's hilarious because now everyone's using that as like an excuse as to why gas prices are going up, and I'm like. Uh, nigga, gas prices were going up before this all fucking went down, so I don't understand what you mean by yeah. We had we had sanctions on Russia and, and parts of the Ukraine, and now that that's being disturbed by the war, we 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 are getting higher gas prices. There's a price to pay for freedom, and it's the price that everyone has to pay. There's some shit like that. I don't know what the fuck the old nigga said. Yep, that's that. Yeah, you know, everyone's over here like imagine like just your favorite Twitch streamer going to war and just they just die. <laughs> now what comes to my attention is the fact that I feel like we aren't ready for something like this. Especially with uh you got little fucking softies on, on the internet that can't even take a joke or or anything or else it'll be considered harassment. Now put that into play when it comes to war. Um uh, I don't think we'd be at a, we'd be at a severe disadvantage, if I'm being fucking honest. You know those people that claim that they're Marxist, Communist, Neo fucking from the Matrix and shit? Yeah, well, I feel like those folks are gonna have like a rude awakening when they get trapped into the fucking war. Could <laughs> you just imagine like the most... <laughs> your favorite Twitch streamer, political Twitch streamer, oh no! He gets drafted into war. Wow, you're gonna see like Hassan just out in the fucking battlefield just... <laughs> Well, that isn't very boggers of you. You've shot me and I'm bleeding out. Please. It's not very bog champ of you. It's not very, I don't know. What, what's the fucking emote? It's, it feels bad, man. I'm feeling bad. I've been shot. <laughs> Politics at its finest, guys. Ladies and gents, ideas clashing and they clash for real. It's like Clash of Clans, COC, AKA cock and ball torture. The clash of, of ideas comes to a conclusion of bloody violence and all of that jazz. Niggas that want power and they can't get enough power because they want more power. But that makes fucking sense. Really fucking retarded. What are we cavemen? But yeah, a little quick video, quick uh, reality check, quick little life hack video uh, out, out and about. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, be sure to leave a like and all that jazz. And subscribe if you're new. You know, share your grandpappy, your grandma, your dog, your deceased uncle, even uh, your second grandma if you want to. I mean, who fucking knows at this point? What's the family tree branch out to? I don't know. Your second cousin, the second cousin you married, the third cousin you married. I don't know, man. I don't judge. Just kidding. I fucking do. But anyways, peace, boys. Peace, boys.